morning. I'm Roberto Bellucci from Verona, Italy, and I chair the ophthalmic department there, uh, being professor of ophthalmic surgery. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Bouchu from France. I uh, work in the private practice in Bordeaux, and I'm a member of the French Safir. Correction of astigmatism in cataract surgery is becoming more and more important as the needs of the patients for good vision in this so demanding society is increasing. Now they are aware that we can correct for astigmatism and we usually should address astigmatism in every patient because even minor astigmatism can cause significant loss of uncorrected visual acuity that both patients are asking for. However, it's difficult to address astigmatism in every case because there are a number of problems there. Some, uh, some barrier to, uh, to order uh, toric IOL because there is extra cost for the patients and uh, we have to go to, uh, to plan the, um, to order on uh, different way because it's not easy. We have not in uh, our operating room all the implants, so we have to think about that avant, before. So uh, with the perfector, it's much more easy because uh, we have just the calculation of the spheric uh, power and then we can have the cylinder adapted for each patient. And uh, I think it's uh, very convenient for our current practice. The perfector IOL comes from an idea I had a few times ago to meet the unmet needs for toricity in the vast majority of our patients. That is, to uh, overtake the problems, the burden of organizing the service and the problem of cost. I thought if we, uh, if we had an available lens at reasonable cost, uh, providing one diopter of toricity, this lens might help our astigmatic patients and might not uh, impair vision in patients who are not candidated to uh, toric lens implantation because one diopter is 0.7 diopter at the spectacle plane and most of our patients even those who are not candidated to toric IOL implant end up with some form of astigmatism. The Perfector might provide us a simple way with minimal uh, burden on the surgeon to uh, improve on those conditions. It's uh, very convenient for patients with a small astigmatism. Until 1.5, it's very easy to take in charge uh, these patients. And, uh, in the past, it was not easy because the patient was not completely aware about the problem of astigmatism and it was a lot of discussion to explain them that they need a toric IOL. But now with this, we can have a, a routine for the, the implantation. And uh, as uh, Roberto said, it's very convenient for patients with low astigmatism also and we can improve the vision for patients with uh, very small uh, anterior astigmatism and we can take in charge the problem of the posterior cornea. So it's uh, for us, it's a uh, refractive surgery in uh, current practice. The difference is the uh, simple evaluation of the topographic astigmatism can give us the idea where to place the IOL, where to align the IOL. Uh, usually our patients come at cataract surgery with some form or of against the rule astigmatism and in that case it's easy we place the lens 180 degrees. If they have more than 0.75 diopters of with the rule astigmatism, taking care of the posterior corneal astigmatism, we should place the lens vertically. Some problems might arise only with oblique astigmatisms when the axis of astigmatism cannot be fixed in the pre-op 
may be because of dry eye problems or other problems. And there are a very limited number of cases where we might find it not easy to align the IOL in the correct axis. However, since the provided correction of astigmatism is 0.7 diopters at the spectacle plane, it's very difficult to damage patients with this IOL. This is the particularity of this IOL. There is no extra cost for the patient, so it's, uh, it's very easy uh, and uh, uh, there is a lot of patients who can be uh, involved in this uh, practice because, uh, as we said, uh, small astigmatism are very uh, common and uh, we can improve the, the vision without any uh, problem to order or to, uh, for the co-payment. So it's, uh, it's very easy to use. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to talk about the study I did comparing this IOL with the spherical IOL. And I found out that those patients with astigmatism, of course, took advantage of the new IOL on the perfector, but patients with no astigmatism received no damage. That actually, the astigmatism, the refractive astigmatism obtained with the perfector in eyes without pre-op astigmatism was lower than the refractive astigmatism of the same eyes implanted with the spherical IOL in the comparison group. So now we have a lens that comes out at the same price as a spherical lens, a lens that can substitute for spherical lens virtually in every eye we are going to do surgery on. And this is a distant advantage provided by Hanita lenses to us and to our patients. At the moment, I implant around 400 perfectors. And uh, I would like to add that there is no danger with this IOL. And uh, we can just improve the, the vision. There is no danger to, to put 0.7 of correction of astigmatism. And uh, so many patients can benefit of this. The, this was a core study to, to see the feasibility of the concept and it included 31 patients with astigmatism, with a perfector, sorry, and 35 patients with spherical lenses. And I compared the corneal topography before surgery, the uh, topographic astigmatism before surgery, the change in astigmatism with surgery, because now we are aware that with mix, with microincision catalyst surgery, astigmatism will not change and the um, topographic astigmatism after surgery and the refractive astigmatism after surgery in those two groups of eyes. Those were unselected eyes. So only after surgery, I divided the eyes who had no astigmatism or lower than one diopter of topographic astigmatism before surgery from the eyes that had more. And this is exactly what I discovered. And I was specifically interested in the refractive astigmatism of the eye who were not candidated to a toric IOL according to our regular behavior. And I discovered that even in those eyes with pre-op topographic astigmatism that was lower than one diopter, the final refractive astigmatism was lower with a perfect arm. So this was my idea to convince myself that the perfect tour is for every eye. And I developed a nomogram uh, at the beginning of the study, a nomogram I followed, and the nomogram that proved to be effective in giving us the best results. This lens is not to solve high astigmatism. It's just to improve on them, but with no burden because you don't have to calculate online the toric power. It's a monofocal lens, so it does not pretend the complete removal of spectacle, but it, it obtains that in, for distance in the vast majority of patients. Very simple to implant the SIOL. The, the lens is pre-loaded and uh, we can inject very easily by a small incision. 
in my practice, I uh, perform this uh, injection by uh, wound assist uh, uh, injection by 1.7 millimeters. So it's uh, very easy. We don't uh, induce any astigmatism, and we can take in charge this uh, small astigmatism. Very easy to rotate the, the, the IOL in the bag, and then it's very stable. So uh, most of the time we can use it at uh, 1.8 uh, degrees, or it's. Uh, there is no problem and uh, it's very safe, yes. I agree. This is a game changer in my opinion because uh, soon companies will provide uh, not premium lenses but uh, gold standard lenses uh, thinking about the premium. That is, with the perfect tour and there are also other projects different from the perfect tour around in the, in the ophthalmic arena, we are uh, setting a new standard. Not the standard, but a standard towards the premium. And this is a, a real advantage for our patients. And then the perfect tour comes from a good company, Hanita, with Israel, Israeli technology that has provided beautiful lenses in the recent years and they have a pipeline of new products that we will see in the future. And uh, the future it's now because uh, now we can have a premium uh, technology for the standard uh, surgery. So it's, uh, we achieve a very, good, uh, a very good level for all the patients and it's uh, very, very easy for us, very convenient.